If I was gifted the power of Cupid, I probably wouldn't use it to make various animals hump each other. But maybe that's why this game is called Stupid Cupid. Is the power of love strong with this one? Or will I end up heartbroken and sad, like every day of my normal life? Let's find out. Shut up and sit down. We start in a tiny cramped office littered with juice boxes. Our Cupid has a real drinking problem. We work for Cupid Co and we're just another generic employee to them. It seems like we've screwed up quite a few things in the past and we have to prove we're capable again. The obvious way to do that is to shoot horny animals with arrows and make them hump each other until a baby appears. <laughs> oh nature, you so beautiful. So, after learning the ropes, we hop into our Cupid Co truck and get to shooting. Stupid Cupid thankfully decides that a fully rendered HD wolf penis wasn't a swell idea. Instead, the developers chose a polygonal cartoon style that suits the game really well. The animals range from really cute to hilariously terrifying, and the few locations that I visited were vibrant and colorful. While they could use a little more polish and detail, the graphics work well for this game. Now, there were some interesting decisions made in the sound department. When you fire an arrow, some cute person makes a noise, like wee or ooh, ooh. every ooh. single ooh. arrow. I get that Cupid is an adorable little fella, but he probably doesn't need a chorus of cherubs to follow him around to admire every single shot he takes. The music is controlled by a small radio that follows you around. I couldn't figure out how to turn it on or off, but I'm assuming that's possible. The music was okay. The animals on the other hand are generally soundless, which is kinda sad, because those spinning bears deserve to have some sexy mating calls. For an archery game, the bow mechanics are probably the most important aspect, and I'm happy to announce they're okay. They weren't the best bow mechanics I've seen in VR, but they weren't the worst. You can pull off some really cool long distance shots, but then other times the arrows seem to curve for no reason. Maybe there was wind? I, I'm not sure. But most of the time it was fine. The game itself is basically a full 360 target range, which was composed of three different level types. Regular objectives, which cycled through making animals love each other or kill each other, Balance, which meant you wanted to meet the population requirements, and Genocide, which tasked you with murdering an entire species. Because Cupid hates fucking squirrels. <laughs> Everyone knows that! You make animals love each other by shooting two identical creatures, and you kill them by shooting one animal and then shooting a predator. You can also kill animals using environmental weapons as well, such as a buzzsaw, beehive, or a hunter's lodge. In my playtime, I visited a forest and a snowscape. The game features plenty more levels, including a beach, desert, city, and sky city. We're taking the love war right to those damn birds. As the game progresses, different animals, objectives, and ways to complete those objectives open up. It was close to 30 minutes per area, but that timing is not exact. There is also a sandbox mode where you can let your horny arrows fly however you want. The concept here is interesting, and it's a good take on the archery genre. Add in some solid mechanics, and it's not a bad game. That said, there's nothing outstanding here, and it definitely got repetitive quickly, and I'm not sure how much the different areas would help with that. But for a cheap price, you'll get a few hours of enjoyment for sure. I give Stupid Cupid a 6.5 out of 10.